vocabulary series. We are conducting review sessions where we will be using vocabulary from Al Kitab, Mufradat Al Kitab, Al Dars Al Thalith. To begin our video, we will look at the words and as i mentioned earlier we're going to be using the plural form so if you watched lesson two part one and part two about plurals in arabic please make sure you are reviewing them in this video as well that way you can retain the rules of non-human plurals and human plurals when we are using adjectives and pronouns so let's begin <laughs> كتب التاريخ والدين أحب قراءة كتب التاريخ والدين أحب قراءة كتب التاريخ والدين and the words we have from this lesson are التاريخ التاريخ history ريخ التاريخ History and أحب is I like or I love. I like reading قراءة reading قراءة كتب and this is a plural word كتب books التاريخ history and then الدين 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 religion. The second sentence أو الجملة الثانية احتل 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 This isn't part of lesson 3 vocabulary but we are using احتل occupy احتل احتل الجيش الجيش احتل الجيش the army الجيش 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 army and I'm pausing at the end of words because there are grammatical uh, rules that needs to be applied if I'm going to say الجيش or الجيش or جيشن so all of that uh, needs to be explained gradually as we get introduced to grammatical lessons but as for now we're just learning how to pause at the end for speaking purposes and also uh, reading uh, more smoothly so احتل الجيش مناطق مناطق أو مناطق and here I would just pause مناطق is the plural of منطقة منطقة area so we have مناطق areas مناطق مناطق عديدة multiple or many in في هذه these and we're using هذه to refer to these because what we're referring to here is non-human plurals like we explained in lesson 2 any any word that's non-human plural would take singular indication when it comes to this or adjective like adida here, many, um, to indicate the gender of the noun. Manatiq is feminine. So the sentence says, the army occupied many areas in these lands. So al-aradi, it means lands, and we're not saying my lands. The ya that you see here is part of the word lands. So, al-aradi, al-aradi. Hadihi, hadihi, suwar, suwar, ammi. Hadihi, suwar, ammi. And the word we have here is suwar. I'll write it up here. Suwar, pictures. And the singular form is sura, sura, suwar, suwar, pictures. Hadihi suwar ammi, عندما, when, عندما, this is an indication of time, 
not the um the wh question time because when you say when asking a question you would say often you would say meta meta when meta where when you say where it's aina aina meta when aina but in this case it's an indication of time in the middle of the sentence these are the pictures of my uncle when he was da bit da bit an officer when he was an officer fi al jaysh fi al jaysh so let's clear this the way I can write them again. So the third sentence is what we're reading. Suwar. Suwar. The singular form is sura. So sura, suwar, pictures. Then we have ammi, uncle. But here I have my uncle. And my uncle is paternal uncle, is from my father's side. So هذه, these are suar. These are my uncle's, uh, my uncle's pictures. When, and like I was saying earlier, عندما it means when, but not for questions. When you ask a question, when you say meta, meta, when, meta تذهب. When do you go to school? Meta تذهب. So meta is what you would use for questions, but عندما, you would not use it for questions, but to indicate something happened when another action happened. So هذه صور عمي عندما كان when he was ضابط. Here's another word from lesson three. ضابط ضابط officer. So we have pictures up here, and then officer, ضابط, ضابط, في الجيش, في الجيش, in the army. So these are pictures of my uncle when he was an officer in the army. Next uh, sentence, الجملة التالية, تسكن, تسكن, lives, عائلات, عربية, تسكن عائلات and the word عائلات is the plural form of عائلة family and you would say عائلات families and these are larger families bigger families تسكن عائلات عربية في هذه الأحياء in these neighborhoods الأحياء تسكن عائلات عربية في هذه الأحياء. Um, Arab families live in these neighborhoods. So Arab families live in these neighborhoods. تسكن عائلات عربية في هذه الأحياء. الأحياء. الأحياء is the plural form of حي. حي. Neighborhood. حي. And then you have neighborhood but the interesting part about neighborhood in in English you would refer to the person as neighbor neighbor but in Arabic it's a whole different word jar jar so for the person neighbor you would use jar and we learned that in the previous lesson جدتي جدتي my grandmother تحب كتابة رسائل تهنئة لأفراد العائلة. My grandmother loves writing uh, congratulation letters to family members. So you have رسائل from the lesson. رسائل رسائل And رسائل is the plural form of رسالة. One letter. So, رسائل, letters. And then, رسالة, one. رسائل, رسالة. تحب كتابة. 
And look what we have here, kitaba, writing, and qira'a, reading. These are nouns. Qira'a, kitaba, qira'a, kitaba, reading, and then writing. And these are referred to as gerunds or nouns because they have the ing in English. So she loves writing letters. The letters of what? Rasail tahni'a. So tahni'a, ta ni a tahni a congratulations so jaddati tuhib kitabat rasail tahni a for who li for and if you watch the video of uh, arabic meanings and what li means li for or to um you would have to memorize that li is just a whole single uh word in arabic that gets attached to nouns so li afrad Afraad, I'll put it separate from li, but usually we have to put it next, I mean attached to it. Afraad, members, members, afraad, afraad, and one member is fard, fard, not fard. Fard is with something is an obligation, but this one is da with dal, fard, fard. Uh, this is like fard is like requirement, uh, but a fraud members and fard with dal is one member. Members of who or of what? Al ila family, the family. So I'll read it one more time. Jaddati tuhib kitabata rasail tahnia li afraad al aila. So the words we have are. رسائل عائلات جدتي صور عمي الجيش التاريخ الدين ضابط الجيش and there are of course more plural words as we look at the plural words there is مناطق and Aradi, Manatak areas, Aradi lands. And we have, of course, Suwar again. Al Jaish is a plural word, it's a broken world, uh, broken word. Ailat <laughs> also is a plural word. And then we have Ahya, neighborhoods, and Afraad, members. All of these are plural words, so I'm going to write them again. Manatik, areas, aradi, lands, jaysh, army, suwar, pictures, ahya, neighborhoods, Rasail letters and then we have afraad members afraad afraad manatiq mintaqa singular forms aradi ard jaysh dabit and again this is a broken plural dabit for officer, and then you have army. Suwar, sura. Ahya, hai. And then rasail, risala. Fard is the singular form of afrad. Let's look at the second part or the second set of sentences. في الحقيقة في الحقيقة كلية العلوم السياسية والقانون صعبة كلية العلوم السياسية والقانون صعبة في الحقيقة في الحقيقة in reality في الحقيقة 
F1. I'll place the dots right on the letters. That way they don't confuse you when I am putting additional dots. So, في الحقيقة. في الحقيقة. In reality or actually. Actually. So, في الحقيقة. كليت. كليت. The college. كليت. كليت. The college of what? العلوم. العلوم. College. And then you have العلوم. Sciences. العلوم. Sciences. And then السياسية. السياسية. Political. السياسية. السياسية. When you say السياسية and you stress on the يا, yeah, you're referring to the adjective political. But if you're saying politics, you're saying السياسة. There is no يا yeah in here. السياسة. السياسة. Politics. So next one, هو, he is, أستاذ في كلية الطب. و متزوج من حبيبته هو أستاذ في كلية الطب ومتزوج من حبيبته He is a professor or teacher في كلية الطب طب is medical or actually medicine in this case, you're saying a medical college or college of medicine. So what you're saying is college of medicine. And متزوج married. متزوج. If you're saying female, you would say متزوجة. She's married. متزوج. Min from حبيبتي. His loved one or his... um. His sweetheart, so habibatihi, loved one. So the first sentence means, actually, or in reality, the political science college and law, al-qanun, law, sa'ba. So like the college of political science and law, sa'ba. Sa'ba is difficult or hard, and it refers to the college as being difficult not the sciences or the law the college itself so kulia saba difficult college or hard college the second sentence it means huwa ustad he is a teacher fi in he is a teacher in the college of medicine fi kulliyat at-tib kulliyat at-tib wa and He's married. ومتزوج من حبيبته. He's married to his sweetheart or to his loved one. الجملة الثالثة, the third one. أدرس, I study. أدرس علم الاجتماع. أدرس علم الاجتماع. وعلم النفس. أدرس علم الاجتماع. وعلم النفس في الجامعة. I study sociology. علم الاجتماع. Sociology. علم الاجتماع. And then علم النفس would be psychology. علم النفس. Psychology. وعلم الاجتماع. Sociology. في الجامعة. At the university. So here you're not mentioning the name of the university. So what you're doing is you're placing alif lam, saying a general phrase at the university without any indication to your actual university. The last sentence on this part, li, 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 I have. Same as عندي. So we could say li or say عندي. Li aqarib. Li aqarib. I have relatives. Qarib. Relatives. Yaskununa. Who live. 
I have relatives who live. I don't have any indication here for who, but the sentence would be translated like that. Li aqarib yaskunun fi in mintaqa, mintaqa, area. And look at this word, qariba, close. It has, it has the same root as relative because the root is qariba and it means being close and related. So qariba is an adjective. And you would also say that she is my relative, hiya qaribati. But you would use the word twice or in two different contexts. One as, or the word should have two functions, one as an adjective and um, one as a title. She is my relative. Min bayti, from my house. Min, from. And then we have bayti, my house. So let's clear all of this, then we're going to learn um, how to read them all together and also highlight the new words we learned. في الحقيقة في الحقيقة في الحقيقة In reality, في الحقيقة كلية the college العلوم السياسية والقانون صعبة in reality, the College of Political Science and Law is difficult. And Saba refers to the college, Kulia. Hua Ustad. Hua Ustad fi Kuliat Atib. And we're reading the words together as one. Kuliat Atib. He is a teacher or professor or instructor in the College of Medicine. Atib. Atib. متزوج and he's married ومتزوج من حبيبته from his loved one or sweetheart next one أدرس I study علم الاجتماع علم الاجتماع the sociology uh, science or the science of society uh, and then we have وعلم النفس psychology at the university في الجامعة لي أقارب see how I'm highlighting the parts that you have to read together لي أقارب I have relatives يسكنون live في منطقة قريبة in a close area to my house or from my house من بيتي لي أقارب يسكنون في منطقة قريبة من بيتي so let's read, practice one more time. في الحقيقة كلية العلوم السياسية والقانون صعبة. هو أستاذ في كلية الطب ومتزوج من حبيبته. أدرس علم الاجتماع وعلم النفس في الجامعة. لي أقارب يسكنون في منطقة قريبة من بيتي. Our last sentences are سمعتو 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 I heard سمعتو سمعتو أن سمعتو أن I heard that سمعتو أن And if you learned the أن we said is to and أن is that and this is a whole different one. So we have N and N. سمعتو أن that ibnaki that your son تزوج got married. So the verb we have is تزوج تزوج got married. ألف مبروك congratulations ألف مبروك like Thousands, elf, thousands, um, mabruk, blessings. So, mubarak is blessed. And then mabruk is when we say congratulations. Mabruk, congratulations. I heard that your son got married. Congratulations. Elf mabruk, elf mabruk. Hal aindaki. So, let's just put this one here. 
هل عندك do you have أي any and this one is not which it's any هل عندك أي قريب any relative هل عندك أي قريب يدرس يدرس teach like teaches في هذه في هذه this is a ha just a typo في هذه الكلية في هذه الكلية do you have a relative or any relative that teaches in this college هل عندك أي قريب يدرس في هذه الكلية. The next one we have في الكتاب in the book درس a lesson عن about a fraud members the word we learned members العائلة في in الثقافة culture العربية Arab سمعت أن ابنك أو ابنك تزوج ألف مبروك. I heard that your son got married. Congratulations. هل عندك هل عندك Do you have أي هل عندك أي قريب يدرس في هذه and this is أها في هذه الكلية. Do you have any relative who teaches in this college? في الكتاب in the book في الكتاب درس عن أفراد العائلة في الكتاب درس عن أفراد العائلة في الثقافة العربية في الثقافة العربية so this is the part about how to use sentences um, to convey more meanings and as well as uh, activate your vocabulary in lesson three. So you have to be quite creative when putting words together and try to group them based on the root. Like what we learned, um, there are certain words that share the same root. Like we have قريب, we have um, قريبة. And then we have uh, afraud, fard, then we have mutazawwaj. All of these share here. And then we have mutazawwaja. These two share the same root. And then you have afraud, aqriba, and just group them by the root that they share or the sounds that they share. In our next video, we're going to talk about family members and how to refer to them uh, by checking which side they are. So when we're talking about maternal uh, parents or we're talking about maternal uncles and aunts, what are their reference? We'll be looking at different sentences and how we can build uh, or talk about family members and have also some activities for you to be more engaged with the content of this lesson. So thank you so much for joining today and we'll see you in the upcoming videos. Wassalamu alaikum.